Hey uh, fans, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're in the goat barn. Goat barn, calf barn, kidding barn, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I got these, there's five on this side that are supposed to be due uh, in the next next few uh, weeks here, I guess. Kind of this whole month, they're kind of spread out throughout. There's one in here that is huge right now. I'll even show you. I mean, she is she's ready to pop anytime. I noticed she's starting to kind of show signs that she's ready to go. Um, so I'm going to set up here in the back. Uh, I got kind of a system I got in here that I originally kind of put in, that was quite a few years ago already, and I've kind of just stuck with it, um, doing that, and uh, it's been working really well, um, and so... We're going to set that up today, I think. Then we're ready. In case it would happen, say, tomorrow, when everybody's running around, we can throw her in a pen. Uh, so what we like to do when they, about as soon as they kid out, if not before, just before, we like to pen them up by themselves. Um... So when they have the kids, we leave them in, say, two to three days, get mom and babies all, say, adjusted, started, whatnot. We like to uh, at least get the kids drinking, make sure they're getting, getting a good start. Um, so we like to pen them up, like I said, probably two to three days. Depends sometimes if more are wanting to kid at the same time, they'll get kicked out sooner. If they're really good, you know, it all depends. If, if we're a little concerned about them, they stay in a little bit longer. Um, so anyways, these pens are pretty much made up of uh, cattle panels. Um, there's one here on the gate that's wired on, but... Um, Basically, you got you know these white, heavy wire panels, uh, and then I have here's a two by four that needs to get knocked in. I'll show you that once I get it, um, and then on the post here um, we have I'm actually missing an eye hook here. Uh, basically, I hook the panel behind, and I have a rod that I stick down to um, hold the panel on. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll see if I need a fork or not. i got to dig it down to the floor here and then i got to take this 2x4 and wedge it in between the floor and the, the beam back there and that will be my, my middle post. So uh, check, back in, you know, when, check back in with you guys when I get there. So there I knocked that in, um, basically I set it on the floor um, and then I actually have a, in a perfect world it would just be straight on the board but I got a, an angle nailed on here and then I actually have an old uh, disc bind knife wedged up in there just for kind of a spacer. Um, probably when I put this in I, I suppose I cut this board probably a quarter inch too short and uh, I had to kind of rig it up um, so then we got these hooks here um, I might see if I get, got a panel basically I'll stick the panel in and uh, we'll stick a I got a couple of these I'm use a, I might need a longer one yeah I might need the long one but basically that's the idea and then this will hold the 
the panel on. And so I got one for this side and I can also do one for that side. Uh, this winter we'll have both sides probably going at it. So, um, so yeah, uh, we got, there's five in here. Two I wasn't sure about. One is starting to look, she's starting to look red more and more. Um, she's getting really fat. <laughs> this one here. So she's starting to get that um, belly on her. And her udder is also starting to fill in a little. So hopefully... Just this one here, I don't know. She was actually carried over from last year. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with her. Um, this group is going to have to get moved shortly. Eh, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to find a panel and we'll stick it on there right away. So this is what I mean here with the um, pin, uh, rod, whatever, I guess I'd call it a rod. Um, so yeah, the panel hooks on there, you stick the pin down and it holds on. That works really nice, um, really nice for a quick setup or a quick, quick takedown if you Say you're going to clean the barn out, you can just quickly remove that, knock the post out, um, and yeah. Um, so right now this sets up for um, two pens um, with the warmer, warm, on a warmer season I could get three. Um, so what we'll do in the winter, this corner here will have a calf hut in. Um, and the calf hut will actually have a heat lamp in with kind of a creep gate in a way um, so that only the little ones can get in there. So I'm not sure. I probably won't need more than two pens. Um, as of right now, I'm going to have, I'll probably throw it right in the corner. That works best. Um, I do have. Uh, more hooks here stick another panel if I need to um, Most years will have the calf hut here, and then you just hook it right to the front of the calf hut and That works out. I'll show that when we get there when it gets Probably in the next couple months here. We'll be getting into colder weather and having having kids in the colder weather we got to do different things. Uh, the other day my brother was here. Uh, he kind of did a little work to that doorway there. Um, so in the winter that kind of just stays open. There's no... We... In a way we we kind of like the goats to be able to go outside if they like. Um, but when it gets really cold, we also like to close it up because then the wind, the wind's not blowing in and all that. So we're trying to figure out, I don't know what we're going to do there, if we're just going to um, throw a door in there. We talked about putting like uh, a flap down that hopefully it would stop the wind. I, I don't know, we haven't really discussed that too much lately. Um, and usually I'll just close up the front there. Um, close the door and there's usually a gap there that if they wanted to they can crawl out. Uh, for this group it won't, it won't bother. They can... Hopefully it stays semi-warm for quite a while. Yet. Uh, it has been cold here but I think it's going to warm up again. Um, so yeah, I guess stay tuned for this. Uh, big fat flow here is, she's, I don't know how many she's got in there. Hopefully no more than three. I think, I believe she had um, 
three last year and did really good. But so I hope you kind of possibly learned something or caps are fighting. Um, with that, it's worked really well for me in the past few years. Um, as for the additional 10 golds that I was interested in purchasing, um, I have not heard anything on that. We are selling steers in the morning, so the trucker will be around. I'm going to ask him then what, uh, what the situation is there, if the deal fell through or what, I don't know. Um, either way, I'm, I have plenty of goats here, but the opportunity was there, so I guess we'll see what, uh, what happens. If, say they would arrive, um, this group here would get moved probably into the dairy barn. At this point in the year, probably to the dairy barn. I would like to keep them out of there as long as possible, but I also don't want to move them around every two weeks or week or whatever. Um, so if if that group would would arrive or would be coming, this group would probably get pushed out of here. I, if time permits, I'd like to get this scooped out and uh, start over fresh, throw lime down, get some good straw, good amount of straw in here. Um, and uh, we'd have to, well, I still, wanna, I still would like to keep them separate if they would get here, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna, we'll see on that tomorrow. Um, it's been, I think over a week now, so I I honestly don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you kinda enjoyed this. Uh today we pretty much washed equipment and uh just tried to clean up and get ready for it tomorrow. I'm hoping we can possibly get some stuff bailed tomorrow. I just don't know. It all depends on what happens. It all depends on how the weather is when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> I would think it's supposed to be windy. The sun's supposed to come out a little bit. Um, I would think we could get some straw bailed, but we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, like, if you got any questions, throw them in the comments. Subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Um, if you're into Instagram, follow me. Follow me on Instagram, uh, WI Boards Beef and Bailing, and uh, hope to see you next time.